Welcome back, IB macroeconomic students, to this video lecture. Today, we're going to be looking at uh, macroeconomics equilibrium. We're going to be looking at the short run, the long run, and both the classical and uh, neoclassical as well as the Keynesian model and their views on aggregate uh, uh, aggregate equilibrium or macroeconomics equilibrium. So um, there are many, many ways to uh, look at macroeconomics equilibrium based on either classical or Keynesian models. And under the classical models, there are basically three ways to draw short-term aggregate supply. Therefore, um, these four graphs you see before you, these are all uh, uh, macroeconomics uh, equilibriums, however, just drawn differently based on different uh, different interpretations of the idea of macroeconomics uh, ma uh, equilibrium. So I'm just going to jump into the first one. This one right here is part of the classical view. Now, what, what, what is happening right here is there is there is short run. OK, there is short run deflationary gap. What do I mean by short run deflationary gap? Okay. Do you see the aggregate supply right here? The equilibrium to aggregate supply is smaller in terms of real GDP than the long run aggregate supply, which means aggregate supply is not at full levels. Um, therefore, a deflationary gap occurs. And in the long run, aggregate supply would return back to a full unemployment level, which is YFE. Okay. Why is real GDP employment for a full employment level? So in the short run, okay, in the short run, this equilibrium has a deflationary gap. However, in the long run, the real GDP, okay, the real GDP will recover back to uh, RR, a L L R A S which is YFE, okay, um, for an employment, okay, for, an, for employment levels. So uh, this right graph right here shows the classical view of a macroeconomics equilibrium in which there is indeed a deflationary gap, okay. For what right here, what we have is a macroeconomics idea of the classical model where there is an inflationary gap, okay. There is a short run inflationary gap. Now, what do I mean by that? Remember how I say at LRAS, what LRAS means is long term, long run aggregate supply. Long run aggregate supply states that all employable workers are employed okay, and worked to sustainable levels. Now, notice sustainable. Now, it, is it possible to overwork your workers and produce greater real GDP? Of course it is. Okay? Instead of having nine to five, perhaps you have nine to six, okay? an additional hour of work. Now, you're overworking your workers, so that's not sustainable. However, in the long run, um, it, it will go back to nine to five. But if in the short run, you may be able to over, overwork your workers and produce above, okay? above the R LRAS curve, uh, which right here is inflationary gap, seeing as how the intersection okay, or the equilibrium between SRAS and AD is greater in terms of real GDP than LRAS, signifying how there is a short run inflationary gap. Now, in the long run, because this is unsustainable, our GDP growth, okay, because this is unsustainable growth, uh, in the long run, um, gross domestic product or RGP, uh, our real gross domestic product is going to go back to the R LRAS. Which basically signifies that um, this is not sustainable, and although in the short run you could produce above, okay, above uh, the the, um, the sustainable development or the sustainable uh, curve, in the long run it's going to go back. Now, thirdly, okay, this third graph right here is what LRAS LRAS equilibrium is intersected with AD and SRAS. Okay, so this is another model that classical uh, economists believe that macroeconomics equilibrium may look like. Uh, so, so for for uh, if, if you are doing or hey, if you are doing classical economics, you have to be able to understand and show why these three, okay, why these three are all equilibriums for both short run and long run. You have to be able to understand it and understand how um, this differs from microeconomics, where there's just a one and the intersection is it. However, in the long run, in, in macroeconomics, there's both the long run and the short run, that of which does not exist in microeconomics. Okay, so these are the classical models. Let me let, let me delete these two nonsense first. Okay, the third one. Okay, this this right here. Okay, this is the Keynesian view. Okay, in the Keynesian view, there isn't short run and there isn't long run. Okay, every single point. Okay, every single point on the LRAS curve. Okay, this curve that's shifted right here can be both short run and long run. Okay, so any point on this curve. Can can be both short run and long run. And then um, 
uh, what YFE is going to be reached when it is on the vertical level right here, but that does not matter. Okay, uh, if you are still curious as to why the curve for uh, uh, the Keynesian model looks like this, please refer back to the previous video where we are going to be uh, going where we went over more depth concerning what it looks like. So I hope this video is helpful in showing you the macroeconomics equilibriums and showing you the short run, long run, as well as the views of both Keynesian and classical economics ideals. So the, Keynes, uh, the classical there is basically these three graphs, and for the Keynesian, it's just one graph, and it's more like the macroeconomics, wherever AD intersects AS or LRAS, that is the equilibrium point. So I hope this video is helpful, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.